Hey guys, how you doing? Um, look, why is your business not 10 times the size that it is today? Uh, you know, if you ask most business owners that question, they'll say things like, well, you know, I, I can't get the leads or I can't hire the right people or the marketplace is too competitive or I can't borrow the cash to be able to expand. But the thing is, that's not the real reason. Uh, the real reason why your business is not not 10 times the size that it is today is your thinking. Because if you answer the question, if you've answered that question and you say, oh, well, it's because of X, Y, Z, you, you, you've just given your reasons or your excuses as to why you don't think you can do it. I'm about to share with you a very important quote that's really impacted my life. And that's this, impossible is just an opinion. Impossible is just an opinion. See, it always seems impossible until somebody does it. And then it's obviously possible. You know, I, I um, hey, Akib, um, uh, I just spent the, uh, recently spent a weekend with a very, very well-known uh, UK entrepreneur. You, you know, uh, if I mentioned his name, you'd all... Uh, uh, recognize him. He's, he's kind of rich list type uh, level. And when we were hanging out at his house at the weekend, um, he asked me what my sales target was um, uh, for for my kind of uh, portfolio of companies. So I said, you know, X million, and uh, uh, and he immediately came back and said, okay, why is it not ten X? You know, so let's say I said, you know, 4 million or 5 million or whatever the number was. He said, well, well why is he not 40 million? Why is he not 50 million? And I said, well, you know, Dave, I, I don't think that I could hit that number. And he said, yeah, Dan, that's the problem. You don't think you could hit it. I said, well, you know, I, like, I'm all for setting goals, but I don't want to be unrealistic and make up. BS. I mean, that's just fake. And he said, no. He goes, if, if you cannot imagine it in your head, if you cannot get your head around that number, you're never going to hit it. You've got to get your head around that number. Oh, sorry. You've got to get your head around that number first. That's the problem. See, let me ask you a question. Okay. Hey, Jody. Um, uh, let me ask you a question. Who is your favorite entrepreneur or business leader? Post me a comment. Let me know. Who's your, who's your favorite entrepreneur, business owner? Is it Richard Branson? Is it Elon Musk? Is it uh, Bill Gates? Is it... Who is it? Warren Buffett? Hello, hello. Who is your favorite business leader? Right? And, and hey, Shah. Shah. Shah Wasmond, MBE, one of my favorite business leaders. Who is your favorite uh, business leader? Hey, Rich. Uh, Richard says me. Okay, well, look. If that person was running your business, so if, let's say, you chose Elon Musk, if Elon Musk was running your business, even if he only had the same, he, uh, he didn't have any of his contacts or his money, he was just running the business with the resources that you have. Oh, yeah, somebody said, uh, Ariana Huffington. If he or she was running your business with the resources that you have today, would they get better results than you are. Think about it. If that person was running your business with the same resources that you have, would they get better results than you are? If the answer is yes, ask yourself, why is that? And the answer is their thinking, the way that they think. So first of all, the scale in which they think, they would probably think much, much bigger, right? Uh, you know, Warren Buffett says that if he only had a million to invest, he could easily get 50% a year return on his money. Right? So, so, so if you think about that, uh, it, there's a scale, but then there's also the skills and tools. They have a different way of solving problems. They've got a different way of thinking about problems and to see them as opportunities. So really, when it boils down to it, okay, when it boils down to it, your thinking needs to expand. If your business is going to expand, your thinking needs to expand. And whenever I've got stuck, is because I've got stale in my thinking. I've just come back from uh, a week's holiday where I took my children away and I completely switched off and didn't work. 
And as soon as I've come back, immediately my head is exploding with ideas because uh, I believe that the more holidays you take, the more money you make because you come back refreshed, recharged and ready to go. Ashar, I think you're back now. So uh, uh, if you are, then I'm sure that you're refreshed, recharged. If not, I'm sure when you come back, there's going to be an absolute whirlwind around you. So the question very simply is this. Where do you need to think bigger? Where has your thinking got stale? Um, uh, uh, where has it got saturated? Where is it old hat? Where do you need to reinvent, reinvigorate your thinking? That's the power of a, a, a good mastermind group, other mentors. It, it, it's getting around people to expand your thinking. Don't get stuck inside the box. Expand your thinking, get different references, different viewpoints. That's why I like studying different in industries and investing in different industries because you get different perspectives. If you stay stuck in your industry, as one of my friends, Jay Abraham, would say, the best you're going to do is plus or minus 10%. The most innovative ideas always come from outside your industry. So post a comment below. Let me know where must your thinking change in order to 10x your business. All right. Let me know what you think, guys. Bye for now.